Okay guys, um, it's me again, and we're going to start making the, uh, website, and I'm going to, this is going to, yeah, this is going to be a tutorial, that's what it's, that's what it is, this is going to be a tutorial, okay, so yeah, and I'm using a better microphone, so that you can hear my voice better, okay, so what you're going to do is you can go to file, new, and then, um, name this, the, web, template or whatever okay so web template you can come down here and that's gonna be 1600 and the height's gonna be 1100 yeah 1100 pixels resolution you can leave that 72 um, but you want to leave it at RGB because that's um, CMYK is like for printers, RGB color is like color, like laptop screen, like this kind, like for web and devices and stuff like that. And then yeah, you're gonna leave it at 8 bit. Okay. And then background content's white. So. And then it should be like this. But we're gonna crop it because it's gonna be too big for Dreamweaver to, um, to align to the browser, the, like, if you have Safari or Windows Explorer or no, not Windows Explorer, Internet Explorer, that's what it is. Um, yeah, sorry, I don't use any of those. I use Mozilla because, well, it's better and well, better than uh, Internet Explorer. I'm not sure about uh, Chrome or Opera or Safari, but it's better and at least I don't get viruses and stuff. But yeah, so you're gonna start out with that, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a new one and you're gonna call this just whatever because we're not gonna save it and this one is gonna be 1000 by 950 I think no sorry I had that the other way around it's actually this is 950 and this is 1000 so yeah okay alright so what you're gonna do is just pull that tab out and it should end up like this press V that selects the move tool grab that layer the layer right here the background layer and then pull it and drag it onto the other screen and that should set it right there and then you can exit out of here and um, here I'll show you so now you can move that around and stuff. Um, let me let me show you what I'm talking about here. Where's the paint bucket tool? There. Okay. Now you can see it. Okay. And so we want to center this real quick. So, um, how you do that? Let me just get out of that mode. You're going to select the layer, the, the middle layer, and you're going to press Control or, yeah, or Command for Mac. Control, and then you should have this little pointer thing, and then select the background. Oh, wait. Oh, you need to duplicate the layer first, like I said in the last tutorial. And then delete that or hide it, so. Select this layer, Control, or Command click, and and click background, background copy copy, and it should have all this selected and then your controls up here you want to select the middle one okay centered and then it's centered right there okay then you can just press command D or control D and then yeah so so then um, what you can do is we can change that back to white so let's see here. I'm just making an F ready or a swatch. Okay, yeah, make sure you select your layers. Okay. Now we're just gonna make this clear so we can see it a bit better. Okay, there now you can see it. 
but that looks ugly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop this. We're gonna zoom out of it. Go to your web browser. So it should be loading now. Okay. There, so this is uh, my website that I made before using the tutorial and everything. Okay, so then you're going to go Google or Bing or whatever and you're going to type color schemes. And then just go to whichever one. And then you can choose any of these colors, like popular colors. I think I like. Let's do aqua. That looks nice. And then so it gives you a bunch of color combos right here. This one looks nice. I think I'll do this one. Okay, there you have it. So you got that one right there. So it's 50, 50, 50. So we're going to go here. And in the color, we're going to type 50, 50, 50. Okay. There. And then so we're going to make another box. We're going to call this. Okay, so there's your box. And the color of it is going to be. Uh, what's the color? 129793. So let's see. 129793. Okay, let me double it to the top. And there you go, so that's the tax bar, or that's the links bar, or the pages bar, or whatever you want to call it. You're going to do the same thing as you did to align the background, so what you're going to do is you're going to type control, click layer 1, or whatever you call this layer right here, and then press V, or the move tool, and then just center it. So there you go. Okay, yeah. I'm going to move this down a bit so that we have mo more room for the logo. There, okay. So yeah, okay, so now you have your links bar, your, uh, your tasks or anything, and we're just building the website template to uh, how it's supposed to look like. So now we gotta go, um, well you can make another shape here, and this is gonna be the content, or the content bar or whatever you call it. Okay, there. So then you have that. And then you do the same thing. Um, this is all just about making it center and everything. Okay, there. So now that's the beginning of your website template. And, uh, so unless you want to add, like, a couple of stuff, like, well, let's say, well, I'm not going to add anything, but, like, up here goes, like, the stuff, like, home and all that. Like, home. But, like, in a bigger font, because that's not going to work. So, yeah, that's the beginning of the template. Um... You can put your logo up here or anything, but I suggest to do that later because it's just easier. And um, so yeah. Okay, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the slice tool, like I said, and you're gonna start selecting all of these right here. So, wait a second. Just want to make sure I can have that and over. Um, it looked uneven, so... Not correct.
directly out of what to do. There we go. Okay, there. So now we're going to travel all the way over here. And yeah, that one's off too, so we're going to just cut this little bit off. Now, you can use this for any part of it, just... Okay, okay. There we go. Now we got a good template. Oh yeah, we're going to crop this too, so let's see. Slice tool. We're going to crop this. We're going to crop it all the way to this. Don't worry about this, because we can change that. All we need is just these top parts. Okay, because these top parts don't matter. So press enter, and yeah, okay, it ends up there. And so now, um, you just go back, select the slice tool, and uh, start selecting those spaces. So okay, there's one. So yeah, okay. And then you can select the content box. And then you want to select the top parts too. And then the bottom part too. Okay, and then the rest, because it's just very timely, you can just take the slice select tool double click in the empty spaces that you haven't gotten so no image okay no image I'm just gonna make these all no images so that I can edit them I can edit them back in um, Dreamweaver and make them what I want them to be unless you have like a logo or something or like a text or something then that you want to keep a picture like instead of going to no image you want to just keep it an image and then here you just call it whatever you want but I'm gonna make these all new images because well, well I'll get to that part later in this tutorial so let's see here no image no image okay you want to select every bit of part of it or else you're going to have problems encoding it in Dreamweaver. Okay, so that's, that looks pretty good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, of course, Save It. And uh, I'm just going to save it to my desktop, so save. Okay, and you're just going to save. I go to File, Save for Web and Devices. And then, so, then this will come up, and then... All this should be good. So then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna like if you have a picture or a logo or something, you wanna make this as low as possible, like one second. Um some stuff might be four or like if you're gonna put like an animated GIF or something, that might be a really big um I can make a lot it will uh take a lot of time to load, but it's actually really small and this thing lies, but it's just the way it is. So what you're gonna do is um, you're just gonna press save and then you're gonna uh, go down here to format and you're gonna choose HTML and images and then so we can rename this um, let's name it index just all lowercase with the HTML thing the extension and so we're just gonna put this on your desktop and then we're just gonna make New folder and call this website touch. Okay, and just save it in there. Okay, then does it. That comes out, and then you can exit out of Photoshop, I guess. Okay, but we're gonna need these images. We're gonna need these right here. Okay, so okay, there it is. Not this, that's that's whatever, that's uh, I guess the website template. This is what you want right here. You should have your file, your HTML document, and then your images. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go. Whoa. I think we ran.